Do you recommend more than one for one person? All right. Thank you. Is that the bread you're using? Yeah. Okay, cool. And as you can hear, we're in a deli right now. We're actually in. What is it called? We're in. Oh, yeah. We're in South Prison Charlie's Deli. I showed them the awning when we were coming in. We found this place on TikTok. And we were like, we gotta go try it today. Look, let me show you guys the TikTok that we. We have to tell you guys so much. We have to catch you up on so much since we've been back home from Miami. The last 24 hours have been insane. We no, seriously. Oh, this is the bomb. I don't know if this is the sandwich. Yeah, this is the sandwich that we're getting. So, so yeah, that's where we are. That's what we're getting. It's called the bomb. And yeah, it should be good. But um, yeah, we'll see you guys when we get out of here because they're playing the radio. Oh my back. So it'll make it very difficult for me to edit. <laughs> so we'll see you in the car. <laughs> It's like everything. No, literally, that's why it's called the bomb because it's like a little bit of everything on it. You guys, this is the sandwich. He cut it in four pieces for us. Mad good, oh, man. I gotta make a video for Instagram. I think we're gonna finish this in the first sitting. <laughs> so, uh, Alright, Fino. So, yeah, we are uh, just trying to tag them real fast. But anyway. I forgot the camera was on. Exactly. We're about to uh, sample this sandwich. Again, they have like different flavors. So, if we don't like this one for whatever reason, um, there's like other stuff to try. But we found it on TikTok right before we left to go to Miami and... Yeah, me personally, I'm going to be peeling the cheese off because y'all just know me. No, yeah, right before we left to go to Miami, but um, there wasn't enough time to get the sandwich. And you guys know when we were in Miami, we couldn't make it to... Um, Publix. To Publix to get our sandwich, so... Your mouth is slow, so we need cheese like that. Like chicken like that. Oh, yes, y'all, we are about to try this sandwich. I mean, we're gonna get a lobster. Awesome. A lobster rolls out. Yeah. Take your first bite so I can hold it. And then I'm um, holding it. I'm holding it under two. Wait, alright, wait, wait. Just put it right here. So that way. Because you guys, the sandwich is huge. I'm gonna get the other bottom in. I got it, man. Mmm. Oh my God. There's no way we're gonna finish this sandwich right now. Or even our halves. I'm gonna take a couple more bites and then wrap this bitch up. I'm supposed to be making stuffed chicken tonight, y'all. I was supposed to make the last night. But with this sandwich situation, we'll just see what happens. This shit is huge. He literally isn't speaking. Do you not like it? <laughs> this is fire. Oh, and, and we it got it. Um, took all of like five minutes for them to make them. Yeah, they make them really fast. We got some Doritos, Funyuns, and um, a Gatorade. But what's crazy is, y'all, right when we walked in, 
I ordered the sandwich. Right behind me, somebody else ordered a sandwich. Then a couple more people came in and ordered this. I feel like this might be the most popular sandwich that they sell all day long. Um, and I don't know where I found it. I think I was on Instagram and it like scrolled. I was like scrolling because I'm fat. So I was like watching food. And I'm like, oh yeah, we need to go get this sandwich. And here we are. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to finish this ad. If you guys decide to go, they are cash only, but they have an ATM inside. Right. Okay. This doesn't like cheese, so he took his off. And then it was the orange cheese, so. Yeah, I think it was like sharp cheddar. I took that shit off. Oh, come on, come on, come on. He's just splashing the juices all over the freaking... We need a tray in the car for stuff like this. As soon as you walk okay. in the store, it just smells amazing. It smells like an Italian daddy, for real. And then I don't even know what kind of bread this is, but it's like perfect for the sandwich. I think it's ciabatta. Why it doesn't have any seeds on it? That was a sesame seeds. Maybe like a sesame something. But the bread is the kind of bread to where like they put a lot of sauce and it's not gonna get soggy. If you get what I'm saying. It's like one of those like crunchy. They probably make their own bread. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Either that or they like get it locally. I can tell they do a lot of shit like in the area. I mean, a lot of stuff. He cracks me up when he kind of censor the curse word for y'all. I'm doing it for the companies that are watching us, not for that. They know what's happening. Fuck bitch shit. Motherfucker bitch shit. <laughs> Catch me on my personal page, y'all, because I don't got time. Oh, my lord. I don't think we gave y'all a mukbang in a while. It's definitely been a minute. We've been doing a lot of running around. Oh, so let's catch y'all up, right? We came home. Well, we landed back in New York. Uh, it'll be like 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. Sunday. We get back home, and mind y'all, while we were going, we got an email from our building. Oh my about, God. Oh my goodness. About a leak. Well, not a leak, but just water damage being done to certain units. There was flooding that happened. Because of an incident in someone's unit. Exactly. That caused the sprinklers to go off, basically. But we actually got more information on that today, like more detail. Yeah, because our neighbor. The email was kind of vague. Our neighbor that lives directly in front of us had, like, the actual juice. So, you'll get the juice from Kino in a second. <laughs> Let me give you out a backstory. So we get back, we get in, get in the lobby or whatever, and there's like blowers going off in the lobby. Obviously, we're aware that there was a water situation, so we're like, okay, cool. We get to the elevator, we get off the elevator, we get to our floor. Mind y'all, it's only one elevator working, and we have three in our building. Only one's working. <laughs> Which moves very slow, because it's stopping at every fucking floor. <laughs> but anyway, we finally get to our floor, and there's heaters in our floor. The bottom of the panel of the wall is missing. Like, it just looks very much under construction. It looks like a construction site, for real. Mm hmm So immediately, we go into panic mode, because what the fuck does our apartment look like? We haven't seen it for the last six days. Um, hello? <laughs> we go inside, and there's water everywhere. Mm-hmm. The rug is wet. Mm -hmm. Clothes are wet. Shoes. The TV even got wet, but thank God there was no damage to it. Mm -hmm. Shoes are wet. Because mind y'all, before we left, we were in the middle of packing. 
So there's clothes, shoes everywhere from us just trying to figure out what we're bringing, what we're not bringing. It was a tornado. It was like our closets were like. We still had dirty clothes mm -hmm. sitting out in the baskets and on the floor because we were like doing like come on like we we're didn't packing. expect water to be in our apartment. There's cracks in the walls where like the water was spouting from from the sprinkler from all the water damage. We had to throw away the green rug that sat in our kitchen. We had to mop the floors. Had to throw away clothes that were damaged from the water. It was just a lot. So we made a bunch of videos and recorded everything so that way we can. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry y'all. That way we can send everything we need to send to where we have to send it to and figure out what's the next move because something has to happen. So, today, we were leaving to take Smoke on a walk because I had a doctor's appointment so we were trying to like get everything done. Anyway, no, I'm lying. We were on our way to the office mm -hmm. to start the conversation because when we got back in, it was the weekend so no one was there. Anyway, so we're on our way to the office now and our neighbor just so happened to be walking his dog at the same time. So when he um, got on the elevator, he's obviously a small talk. So he's like, hey, do you guys know what happened? But I'm not. He's like, no, we think, he's like, he thinks, cause it happened in the apartment directly above his. So he said he thinks that the person was either smoking or something like that in their apartment. And me and Fitz looked at each other like, um, Obviously, it's not because we were he was, the person was smoking. Like that's stupid. And even all right, like let's put some more logic behind it, right? Smoking, I can understand like someone that doesn't smoke weed like not having any sense. But like that's cooking, right? Like even when cooking, when you cook, sometimes you create a little bit of smoke. That's not going to trigger sprinklers to go off and and create a freaking flood in a building. Like spring, like it comes from heat. That's how tr um, sprinklers are triggered by heat, no, not by smoke. Is, somebody was deliberately so something fire. stupid happened, um, and the building was also trying. I feel like they're not trying to take accountability for it, so they're trying to say that someone else did it, so that way they're not res responsible and liable for people's damaged products and belongings. But whatever. So he said that that's what happened. So we ended up going to um, the like management or whatever for the building, and, she, and I'm like, all right. Let's start this conversation. So I'm already like at a place where I need like cut and dry. Like I don't need I don't need any speculations. I don't need any of that. Like our property was damaged, so like this needs to be handled in a certain kind of way. Um, and Fitz is a little more like I guess nice about it, whatever. So I was sitting down and letting them talk, and I was just kind of sitting there. And then um, at one point, the lady said like, "Oh well, you can send an email to this number," and she just doesn't sound confident in what she's saying. You already know how I am. So, yeah, now I need, an, uh, the email's fine, but I also need a number that I can like call and have a conversation with somebody with. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, have a conversation with somebody about. And she's like, oh, um, I can't give you a direct line, but, and then they, and she was trying to stun, she's like, but I can give you the email. And I'm like, no, I need a number. I need you to find a number. And she's like, all right, I can try to find a number for you. And then she like went and like Googled. That was what she said to begin with. Kino just wasn't listening, to be completely honest with y'all. When she said something about the email and he inquired about, is there a way that we can call someone? She was like, well, I can't give you a direct line, but I can give you the corporate number. But I will have to look it up because I don't know it. He's like, well, I need to speak to someone in the event of them not responding to the email. I want to be able to follow up because it's my property, whatever, whatever. And I say to him, before I could say something to me, I mean, to Kino, you know, he kind of just wanting to her, wanting her to say her piece so he can hear what she's saying. But he's not right. really listening before to what I she said. trigger my before I'm triggered, I like to let people talk. So whenever there's a situation going on and I'm dealing directly with somebody, I want you to speak clearly so that way I can respond to you directly. Um, and she was trying to say that she doesn't want to give me anyone direct, any direct person's contact that's from the corporate. She just wants to give me the general corporate number. And for me, I was looking for more of a direct number to call someone. But if I have to settle for you just giving me the corporate number and I'll figure it out myself, I'll raise hell that way. That's fine, too. So that's what ended up happening. So we got the email um, and we got the information as far as like the number and stuff. I We hadn't called anyone yet because we were leaving to go 
handle something I had an appointment to go do and take care of. But um, yeah, definitely first thing tomorrow morning, we'll be taking care of that because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be replaced. Um, and yeah, I'll be as nice as I can. <laughs> yeah, it's been so long since I had plans. I am fucking uh, And we are out of space. Oh, wow. But the sandwich was good. If you guys are in New York and you want to try it, definitely do so. Run over to Sal, Chris, and um, Charlie's. This is not sponsored by them, but, you know, the sandwich is really good. And, you know, we like to put y'all on to all the hidden gems. Ciao. Next day, the next day. Hello, Finos. It's the next day. Hi, guys. Um, We're obviously vlogging on my phone right now because... We left the camera in a car and we've been moving and grooving for a yeah, few hours smoke. now. I but off. my baby is getting his hair cut. Yeah, smoke. We dropped smoke off to the groomers at Petco. It's our first time using Petco for grooming services, so we'll see how that goes. They said we it should take three to four things. hours, so we we'll just see. Yeah, um, but yeah, outside of that, we went to AutoZone and grab some um, auto glue or car glue um, because we had to replace the grill to the front of our car. So that's drying while we're in Dollar Tree. And we got some snacks. They have all the face products that I use from Dollar Tree, like the creams and the serums and the under eye cream and the spot treatment. They have it all. So if you are looking for some type of moisturizers or serums, check them out because they work pretty good for me. Kino does not like them. He does not prefer them. Did you find something? Should we get a um a little baseline for the car? Sure. You don't think we need it? I don't know. I feel like our hands or when we like ashy, forget to oil up. I'm actually gonna look for something a little better. Okay. We have a few things on the itinerary today. It's very early and Smoke won't be ready for a few hours so we have more than enough time to kill while he's getting a new cut, a new color. This Dollar Tree is pretty active if you ask me. After you. After landing at Plymouth, yes, ice. She didn't want Cleo be in her hotel room because her and Riot was gonna be in there. I mean, but if me and my nigga is in a room, understandable. But I, if that's the case, then why not try to accommodate me? If you know I'm here because you said that I was gonna be with you, Bro. you ain't try to give me a hotel room, nothing. Mm -hmm. Not even like. A heads up it's as we pulling up to the hotel you like oh cleo you're gonna have to get your own room in front of every or not even she says you're not getting your own room <laughs> in front of everybody mm -hmm. instead of it being like a text or a side conversation where it's like yeah uh me and Riot, we're gonna be you know doing our thing so get your room before we get there this is the hotel we're gonna be at mm -hmm. My thing is, just moving real weird. This was never 
a girl that you really knew. This was never your friend. So all of this, it's like, okay, I can't feel but so bad you decided on going on tour with a stranger. They was not strangers. Them girls was hanging they out. They were strangers. If your friend, if if this is somebody that you're on tour with and they're treating you like this, and in general, it's just been weird, funny vibes, you don't know this person. I mean, obviously, that's what Cleo had to realize, but before going on the trip and I mean, on the tour and agreeing to it, they was cool. They was hanging out. This bitch, I was hitting her up to, like, chill and hang out. Like, oh, let's go here together. Let's go. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. That's what she's saying, too. She like, bitch, you using me for a rollout. Mm-mm. Every time we chilling with each other and we get snapped a picture and it's posted a day or two after that, you dropping a song. That gotta be for the Bronx bitches or the Brooklyn bitches because no shade to Cleo, but Ice is a bigger artist, so for her to feel like it was a cloud situation, like it had to be like, oh, well, a couple extra followers, I guess. I don't know. Because like Ice is bigger, so like. Yeah, she's bigger mm-hmm. because she has more of a backer. And she was able to luck up and get that back. And Cleo's been out longer. Cleo first, when her and Ice first met, Ice was so mm. starstruck. Like, oh my God, it's a full circle moment. I used to watch you in high school. I can't believe I'm in a car with you. Mm-hmm. Da 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 da. Mm-hmm. Sucking mad dick. Now, you get a little label behind you. And da 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 da. You feel like you. I mean, da 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 da. It's crazy. You feel like you that bitch. Mm-hmm. And you changing up. That's crazy to me. <laughs> so you guys, uh, Vince has been following um, this Cleo and Ice be- um, beef all morning. So he's kind of filling me in because I haven't been following. I've kind of been like in my own world. Wow, I look crazy. Yeah. I mean, no, you don't look crazy. I feel like we both kind of just rolled out of bed and jumped in the car. We woke up, took smoke for a little walk. And then realized that we needed to grab our stuff because we were out. And so we ran into that. And so now, anyway. Hi, Finos. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what? This video, this clip <laughs> is so chaotic. Yeah, just like our lives has been. Our lives have been for the last, I don't know. We got a frap. He has a, what is that? Uh-huh. Strawberry banana smoothie. Oh. Um, And I just had to make that boy. He had some fries. So, okay, first and foremost, we have to address so many elephants. Obviously, <laughs> we haven't broken up, guys. We're still a couple. <laughs> what? Like, shut up. Uh, <laughs> anyway, ah! um, obviously, the video you're watching has abruptly just cut here. And um <laughs> although there's no although there are no um date or time stamps in our video mm-hmm. this is way like almost a month and a half. I would say like two months down the line for sure. Two months after mm-hmm. what you guys were watching before you were rudely interrupted. By and this clip. Sorry for just yeah for the way things have been, guys. Sorry, but we're about to explain everything. I promise. So <laughs> I know you guys are wondering why we like have been missing, why we haven't been posting, why, 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 why. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, then I mean, I guess you can say we haven't been missing. Um, and it's. A no. little more active over yeah. there. We've definitely been active. On um, for and sure. you kind of have been able to follow us, but not really know details for real because we really haven't announced it. We obviously, came back home from our trip with Gina to Miami. Yes, and that was amazing. We had so much fun. We Hold had on. Hold on. a ball, and that was the last video that you guys seen. And then, starting with this video, we were back home. You know, just chilling for like about. Mm, I would say like two days. weeks. No, because what? What trip are you talking about? The I mean, the- Miami trip. Let me let me look at a calendar for y'all real quick, just so I could get exact timelines. So we were in Miami from the 14th to the 21st, right? Yeah. And yeah, so we were home for about. 
three uh, or four days. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like four days. Yeah. yeah, we were home for about like three or four days. Yeah. Because we had to take <laughs> to Atlanta. All right, take a um, second. Catch your breath. Yeah, I'm like burping Whoa. and like. <laughs> We had to take a very unexpected trip to Atlanta, um, and yeah, we just popped out real quick. I also had a meeting um, in Atlanta, so we just kind of made it all work. Hello, guys. So we did a thing last night <laughs> and left the camera and my wallet inside of Rashad's car. Everything's in Rashad's car. We, everything's in Rashad's car. We were supposed to get up early this morning and that looks closed. Is we were supposed open? to get up early this morning and go and meet him before he left for work. But well, we got in at five. Yeah, that's closed. It's a gate down. But um far if you're vlogging. Sorry. But we still got up this morning. We even missed breakfast after we talked all that shit about making sure we get the complimentary breakfast. And we'll get it tomorrow. It was just our first day getting in. We did nothing but run around. Like, we ran around all day yesterday. My knee is still bothering me now, but the, luckily, this trip is a light trip, so I'm just taking it easy on my legs. Yeah, I'm trying something different, and I'm filming on Can the you guys back see of Wait, my phone. Way, the back of my phone, instead of using the front cam, uh. where I could actually see what's being recorded, just because the quality is a lot better when it's this way. But, um, yeah. We're walking into a store to grab a lighter because we don't have a lighter. Everything's in, whoa, that's closed too. It's a grass station across the street. Just go that way. So yeah, everything's closed in Atlanta. That's probably closed too. I don't understand, is this open? Yeah, the nail shop is oh, open. Oh, that's open. Oh, this is a store, y'all. Yeah. Oh, it's a smoke shop. Perfect. Oh, you don't have to bring it. <laughs> Thank you, hi. Lighter, please. Okay. Hurry up. Bye. You just want to go to the well, yes, spot to get a lighter. Some with a spot. <laughs> but my arm is hurting, so. We are currently walking inside of JJ's Fish and Chicken. If you know, you know. Thank you, Thank you, love. Thank you. And, um,. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm trying to put Kino on right now. He don't even know. I hope he's good. I'm definitely in the mood for um some fried fish. So. Yeah. Butter, but that's picking. Yeah. Niggas doing it's not impressing. Raise a glass and make a toast, cause I'm the best, nigga. I'm the best. You know the rest. Mm -hmm. Can you picture me not being him and running shit? Can you picture me not being him and running shit? Running through the bag, what a fuck will be. Can you picture me not being him and running shit? Can you picture me not being him and running shit? presence is way more dominant than the male presence in this motherfucker.
when I tell you guys, this is truly a dream come true to be here. <laughs> to be here two nights in a row at a sold out show with my dear friend and big sister, Missy Elliott, and Buster Bus. But to be standing right here in front of you guys, living out my dream, me and this little girl living in Decatur, Georgia. I didn't have much, but I had a big dream. And I believed in that dream. And that was all it took. So when you guys have a dream that you believe in and you want to happen, just know that all it takes is one person to believe in that dream, and that person is you. The moment you start believing, is when opportunity starts. And I can't tell you guys how special Jersey it feels. Fight! Oh my gosh. What are you guys doing here right now? <laughs> we did this yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the princess is here. Because all of y'all count. This lady right here worked so hard. She did so much. It seems like such a short time. I love you, Pookie. I love you too. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And we couldn't leave here without letting the city honor you. What? Come on, city. Come on, city of Atlanta. Dickens, the 61st mayor of this great city of Atlanta, said that you could not leave here today without us honoring you. So we called on city council, council member Michael Julian Vaughn, and he has a special proclamation for you. How y'all doing, Atlanta? <laughs> How you doing, Atlanta? How do y'all feel about Sierra? Sierra. I don't think she can hear you. How do you feel about Sierra? The man is old. Well, it's my pleasure, my honor, my privilege to be here in this, to represent the city of Atlanta on behalf of our great mayor, another great Atlanta native, Andre Dickens, our council president, and all 15 members of the Atlanta City Council. I'm Atlanta City Council member Michael Julian Vaughn. And you were in my neighborhood. I grew up in Vine City, a block from here. <laughs> y'all know y'all go through there when it's late at night. Give it up for Vine City. <laughs> but I have in my possession what is the highest award that the city council can award to any citizen, person, place, or thing. I have a proclamation from the city of Atlanta declaring it in recognition of Grammy Award winning artist, singer, songwriter, and philanthropist, Sierra. Thank you, thank you so much. I haven't read it yet. Okay. But I'm gonna read it in pertinent part. It says, whereas the Atlanta City Council is pleased to honor Sierra Princess Harris, <laughs> born in Holly Park, Georgia. <laughs> just outside of here, grew up in Decatur, has over 30 million records sold. 40 million singles sold worldwide. Three platinum albums worldwide. She's a philanthropist. She speaks out on behalf of women's rights and young girls. She's a mentor, an educator. She puts her money back in the community. And so it is our privilege, our pleasure, to honor you today with a proclamation. And now therefore we, the members of the council, on behalf of the city of Atlanta, hereby proclaim this day 
July the 28th, 2024, as Sierra Day in our consider and witness thereof, I have set my hand and have caused the seal of the city of Atlanta to be here into a fix. Congratulations, Sierra. Thank you so much. You know, guys, I, I don't have, <laughs> thank you. I don't have much time to talk. Help me, help me, help me. Help me. Sierra is young, but my knees are 15 years old. <laughs> Listen, guys, I don't have much time to talk because as they say, thank you so much. And I'm so glad you got back up. <laughs> Okay, guys, listen, I don't have much time to talk because as we know, the show goes on and my big sister Missy is up, but I just want to say I'm so grateful for this honor. I'm so grateful. I, I'm kind of speechless because I was not expecting this to have my own day. But as I was saying to you guys, all it takes is one person to believe in yourself. I didn't have much, but I had a big dream and that was all it took. All my single mamas out there, you can figure it out. I want you to know that. All my ladies in the house tonight, if you got love as well, hold on to it. We know that you're empowered by everything that's been in you. Your gender nor the color of your skin will stop you from where you want to go in life. And live every moment to the fullest. Live it up to the fullest. Keep dreaming. I love you guys so much. Thank you, Atlanta. Vibing, we're having a good time. Everything's everything. That was a great trip. Um, oh my god, yes. We get back. You guys are finally might be able to actually see the photos now because I've been dying to get our um, Atlanta pictures out. So hopefully you guys get to see them by the time this block goes out. Um, so yeah, we're in Atlanta. We're having our, you know, we're doing our one. Nothing too crazy. We're still trying to like relax but still like turn up at the same time um so i don't know what clips we have on our phone to be honest from that time span but whatever we do have of course will be inserted within this moment um but yeah once we got back from atlanta we had to um which we got back on maybe i would say we went to atlanta on the 25th or the 26th of july and we came back on the 29th um and then which was a monday and then that thursday we had to fly back out again mind you we were under the impression that we had to fly out on friday so wednesday night we're just laying in the bed like a regular night chilling and something just says look to see if you can check in to the flight or whatever or i think kino asked me what time do we fly out or something like that or what airport um either way it forced me to check and when i checked i'm like oh shit we leave tomorrow so immediately we had to hop up <laughs> get smoke washed and bathed and all of that so he could go to um, kino's mom's house 
because that's where we have been dropping um, smoke off for the last few times that we went out of town. Yeah, my family are, um, they're trying to kidnap him. My mom, first of all, my sister, first, like whenever she gets smoke, she thinks that he's her dog. My like God. she's so obsessed with she him. She goes through anxiety, depression. She literally like almost, I think she did cry the last time we picked him up. The, the last time she babysat him specifically, she like cried when we picked him up. My mom, on the other hand, so she hasn't like okay i had dogs as um a kid and my mom hasn't like been the most like oh about animals but like for whatever reason she's just like obsessed with smoke they like love smoke. i just don't get it uh, his mom calls him smoky yeah we were rushing to get everything together pack our bag figure out what we're packing um and yeah once we finally figured everything out we made it in time to our flight in the morning and then we were off to charlotte <laughs> what's up pinos Yo. we are currently well first of all we haven't picked up the camera all day today um the last time we saw y'all we were getting food yesterday at ace number three or was it in ulta i think the last time we saw y'all we were in ulta at concord mall um, it's like a little outlet mall here in Charlotte But yeah, we went there yesterday and then we came in the room We were supposed to be letting Tasha take her little pregnancy nap And then we were going to Go to this bar lounge spot called Stats um, But that didn't work out that way She kind of took a nap and then Never woke back up until today, which is her birthday. She's pregnant, guys, so we give her a pass. Yes. So we've been doing a lot of chilling and relaxing on this trip, which, we in my it. opinion, is very much needed because we have been we need it. bouncing the F around. And, we haven't um, gone out to, like, a nightclub, a lounge, and my knee and my back is very appreciative of that. Yes, and we... So we're still on the first bottle that we bought when we first got here. My so. liver is appreciative. <coughs> My liver is appreciative of that too. I think we're doing a swell job. But tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Yeah, what he said. Bitch. No, but literally tonight, I told Tasha, like, girl. Yeah, it's so windy. Whatever you do today, yeah. take it blood clot easy. Because, um, girl, we're going out tonight. Like, and then, oh, we didn't even tell y'all the rental madness. So, boom, we don't have a rental, obviously. Um, apparently, in Charlotte, I did I, I feel like I had this conversation with y'all, but I don't know. It could have been the conversation that I had with Tasha. Yeah, I had to put on some bug spray. It's eating us. No, they really are out here. But apparently, in Charlotte, you have to have two forms of identification in order for you to rent a vehicle never been a thing and we've rented vehicles from enterprise twice so basically all i trap like all we travel with is our debit cards and our driver's license um so yeah and they wanted something with your name and your picture they wanted, on like it. a passport or a, a library card or a bj's card Really your medical card doesn't even have your picture on it like i'm so confused yeah my insurance definitely does not have a photo on it like i'm so confused but so yeah it that was the really dilemma headache, right like, for a while like it popped like okay it took us about maybe an hour hour and a half two hours to come to terms with the fact that we just won't have a no it actually took three hours yeah because we had to go to we went to an off like a, a local enterprise that was like off the airport <sighs> area and how about with an out-of-state license, you have to use strictly a credit card when you're mm. booking at a local enterprise. Yeah. Only at the airport are you allowed to use an out-of-state license and use a debit card because you have to have your flight itinerary coming and going back to your wherever you're going back to. That is the only way you can rent a car at the airport is if you have your flight information. Right. You can't just go to the airport. Oh, I live in Charlotte, so I'm going to go to Charlotte Airport and, and go get me a rental because they don't got no rentals nowhere else. Nope. Sorry, honey. You have to have an itinerary. So for the most part, guys, we were just chilling, sleeping today, um, 
stretching very relaxed. Whereas we definitely were putting that bed to use as far as like resting. And um, other things. <laughs> but. Doing our big one, you heard? Yeah. I know the neighbors know my name. <laughs> my name, my name, name. I don't even say his name. That's what's crazy. I have a whole nickname that I say, so. It's still my name. I think that song meant like my name. Did we tell y'all that they don't have a pool? They have a pool, but they don't have a pool. Like the pool, I'm looking at it right now, but it's empty. You guys. They have to get a new lining. We, we were deceived trunks. by booking. I actually have a pair on as we speak, but we were deceived by booking.com. It said there was a pool on site. Yeah, it's about to rain something serious, okay? Yeah, it's 100% chance of rain for the hour of we're seven. Standing in the trees. I mean, for the hour of five to six. And then it said 45 for the hour of six to seven and then 30 for the hour of seven to eight mm -hmm. and then clear after eight o'clock. So, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Tonight. And I'm actually going to do some editing once we get back upstairs, at least try to start a little bit. And then I can do the finishes tomorrow morning when we get up before we start our day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so windy, that's why, I, listen. Oh my God, smoking outside has been a hassle. Get and me whenever we're on vacation, car, please. we have to smoke outside because we're either in a rental or we're in a hotel or at a B&B and we have to step outside regardless. I also um, found out yesterday that, well, I mean, it's not like I found this out yesterday, but like it was confirmed yesterday that smoking weed is smoking is like most of the thing. In Charlotte? Sure. Yeah, no, um, but everyone does mindful. it. There's, I want to, no, there's no dispensary. That's about to lie. Not for nothing, y'all. Like, coming from New York, it sounds, like, it sounds so crazy to be, like, ducking the cops. Like, New York and Connecticut, because they're both legal in both states. Like, when I say how we be, I mean, I know. I mean, you're not supposed to smoke in a vehicle in the state of New York, but everyone does it. Yeah. I mean, why not? It's your car. You're not even supposed to smoke in a vehicle if it's parked. So as long as your vehicle is on and you're in it, you're not supposed to smoke. But and then, if, if it's wait, not on, then you're fine. get this, you're not even supposed to be smoking in like public areas, like parks, playgrounds, those type of things. But that makes sense. Like I would never want to go to like But a we park are in a park when we go to like Central Park or um, Prospect no, Park. No, yeah, but like they're those, designated parts of the, I mean, it's a park. I get what you're no, saying. No, yeah. And but you're not supposed to smoke the park, there because there's designated smoking areas. Right, exactly. Fitz refused to let me finish the sentence. Yeah, I'm you sorry. <laughs> I was trying to finish my statement in the midst of you saying what you were saying, so my bad, but I kind of knew that you, you were about to say the same thing. Um, he is reading mine. We are trying to find the restaurant. Excuse me, sir. Where's kitchen and cocktails? Thank you. We're running late for the birthday brunch. They've been seated already. Babe is in the back, right here. And we just got out of our Uber. And it's so hot. It's very hot. It's 90 something degrees, I'm almost certain. We have on our Zara shirts. Babe has on his diesel shorts. I have on my leather black shorts. He has on his brown loafers from Doc Martin. I have on my black ones. And we are here. So we'll see you when we get inside. Okay. Happy birthday! You look 
so cute. Sorry, love. Thank you so much. Hey y'all, let me back my chair up. What's up, y'all? It took a second. A game shit. <laughs> it took a second That's for me that. to figure out the best angle. All right, I'm clicking. But we finished brunch. We found out the gender. <gasps> it's a boy! A little TJ is on the way. Oh my gosh, she's having a boy. Everyone knew it. I kind of was going against like everyone on purpose. I was like, girl, but she's having a boy. I've been saying boy since I laid eyes on her in person after knowing she was pregnant. No, yeah. We're on our way into Stats. <laughs> the place that we were supposed to go last night. Was it last night or the night before that? No, it was, the night before that. It was last night, no, was but last we ended night. up at Rico. Yeah, Rio. Come on, come on. Everyone's waiting. We are out. We're going because everyone's waiting. So Ooh, we'll see you inside. <laughs> Um, we went to Charlotte for my best friend that flew in for my birthday and surprised me. Hey, Tasha. Hello, my love. Um, so yes, we flew into Charlotte to go surprise, well not surprise her because she knew we were coming, but to support her, um, support her for her gender reveal, um, which I already knew I was having a nephew, but we just needed everyone else to get on board because everyone else was team girl. Um, but yeah, so that was a fun little trip. It was very chill, very relaxing, but that is when the most devastating thing of course, to any content creator, any vlogger has to go through that we experienced it. So, we're in Charlotte. It's a Friday night. We go out. Um, we bring the camera with us. And before we go to the bar or this lounge, I'm like, eh, I'm not going to bring the camera inside. I'm going to leave it in the car. Yeah, um, we went to the... <clears throat> And I'm like just gonna two vlog. different spots. Or no, we only went to one spot that night. We yeah, like it was we, like a night of us driving around, trying to figure out where we were going, what we were doing. Mind you, my best <sighs> friend is pregnant, but she still wants to like go out and like show us a good time and like have fun. So, mm -hmm. and she's always like Tasha's always a good time. So it's not like she was. You know what I mean? Like, she was amazing. Like, I love her so much. So, yeah, it's yeah. not her. Once we finally made it and figured out what spot we were going into, we had a cute little time. We had a good little ball. We mm -hmm. got some drinks. The music was cute. Mm -hmm. Blogging on my phone. And then we get back in the car. 
and at this point we're a little intoxicated because i promise you at that moment everything is like blur like i can write i can very vividly remember walking out of the lounge and going to the car i just cannot tell you what happened from the car ride to the hotel and the reason being is because we got Long Island ice motherfucking tea. It's always the Long Island that makes me black out. It's just, it's sad. Like, it's just so sad. But I wasn't blackout drunk to where I couldn't, like, walk or talk or anything. I just can't remember what happened. I just, um, like... Which is not good, but anyway. Yeah. So, we get out the car. <laughs> we go inside to the hotel. Well, actually, we get out the car. We smoke outside of the hotel. Then we go upstairs. And we're in for the night. And we probably come outside, like, once again after that in the middle of the night to smoke but other than that like we're in for the night we go to sleep we wake up the next day and now it's the day well no it's saturday and because we were in charlotte for like oh, for like four days right saturday was more of like a chill day we didn't really do much mind y'all we didn't even have a rental in charlotte oh my god we gosh. couldn't get a rental we in couldn't charlotte. get a rental in charlotte because they was asking for two forms of id Never had that happen to us when we're renting a car. Mind you, pause. We just came back from a trip and had a rental. And in Atlanta. The, excuse me, and used the same company. No, I'm talking about recently. Just came back from a, from a trip, used the same company, and only gave them one form of ID and one debit card, and everything was fine. No, but y'all, listen. <laughs> because the Atlanta trip, the random Atlanta trip, so coincidentally, because we rented cars through enterprise in atlanta and it was peachy everything's cool everything's smooth when we go idea. when we go for the random trip thank you and for kino's meeting we um we don't have kino's um like bank card and that card is the card that we'll use for the enterprise so, oh, yes. okay. So, so he's talking about to use, get around and, and zip car. Yeah. That was that trip, right? Yeah. Then we get, but before that trip, we were in I Miami, yeah, and, we and we got a car Enterprise. from Enterprise. Yeah. No problems. Yeah. No, do we need more than one ID? None of that. It was very smooth. It was Charlotte. Then we get to Charlotte. Yeah. And they're like, "Oh, we need two forms of ID." We like, "What you mean, like?" To where this nigga was like, oh, do you have a credit card with your picture on it? Kino was like, I didn't even know they do shit like that. I'm like, what you talking about? Like, and, and, and y'all know, Fino's, y'all know, when Kino gets annoyed, I'm annoyed. So, like, I'm annoyed at this point. So, you're talking to me saying stupid shit now. And so, like, sir. <laughs> so, we didn't have a rental in Charlotte, right? Because, mind you, they don't have get around. They don't have zip car. <laughs> we couldn't get a rental, right? So his best, so we used his, his so, best friend basically drove us around for the time. Right, there. we had and we did a like chauffeur. And stuff. Technically, <laughs> we had a chauffeur, whether it had been her or an Uber driver, but for the most part, we were in the car with her and we were waiting for her to come get us. So Saturday, yes, I feel like we chilled for the most part, and then we linked with her like later in the night, mm -hmm. and. Because we were doing, like, nighttime activities, it was like, oh, cool, we're not going to bring the camera. We're just going to vlog on our phone again. Yeah. Sunday comes, which is the actual gender reveal and her birthday, like, brunch. I hate this angle, you guys. It's bothering me so bad. But. And the actual birthday brunch. Mm -hmm. um, we could change the angle if you'd like. I just don't know what to do to, like, make it better. I guess that's a little better. Yeah. So, um, Sunday comes for the brunch and the gender reveal. And we're getting dressed. And she's not coming to get us because we don't want her to, like, come out of her way to, like, be late or anything like that. that so, smoke is gonna be crazy. oh, wow. So, we take an Uber. Anyway, I'm gonna put y'all back down here because Kino yeah. about to aggravate me. Mm. He about to aggravate himself and get knocked out. So anyway, um oh my back. Gender reveal, gender reveal. Excuse me, I had to burp. Get it out. Yeah. We're getting ready for the, we're getting ready for the gender reveal and 
waiting for our Uber and in the midst of us waiting for the Uber, well, actually the Uber's on the way. And I'm like, oh shit, we left the camera. And Keenan was like, oh no, we can just vlog on our phones. And I'm like, no, it's cool. Like I'm gonna just run up and go get it. Cause we still had like maybe five minutes until. And we still wanted to smoke came. before the car came. So it was like, all right, cool. Like we could smoke. Oh no, we hadn't even requested the car because we wanted to smoke before the car came. No, but I'm telling you, it was on the way. I requested oh. it. Oh, okay. And we had like 10 minutes. Cause the Uber, it was taking a little while. Ubers mm. take a little while in the, um in Charlotte because everything no, takes space the yeah. fuck out. <laughs> So the whole time for the Uber is at about like 20 minutes. So by the time it hit like 12, we was heading downstairs. And I was like, oh shit, I left the camera. Yeah. So I'm running upstairs to go get the camera. When I say I was like fucking the room up to find the camera, mm. could not find it. I'm searching high and low for it. <laughs> so I go back downstairs and I'm like, babe, did we leave it in Tasha's car? Okay, so quick disclaimer. I, when I'm on vacation, like I... Am an, uh, a fish like I drink a lot of alcohol, and so when I woke up, I had already started drinking. I think I woke up a little tipsy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna yie. I woke up a little whipsy. I'm not gonna yie. And so Fitz is like, like he's more sober than I am. Basically, is my point. And um, <laughs> and him looking for the camera. I'm like confident that he's gonna come back downstairs with the camera because like. I just in my brain feel like that's just usually how it works too. Right. Like, so I'm like, all right, cool, it's fine. And so I didn't even think anything of it. And so when he came back downstairs and didn't, and he was kind of frustrated um, because he couldn't find a camera. Um, it's still because I'm tipsy. I'm like, oh, it's probably under the bed. Like it's probably like in a, a, one of our bags. It's probably in the you know, it's it's in the room. Yeah. I'm like either we left it in <laughs> Tasha's car. Or because I'm rushing and moving so fast, I'm just overlooking it. So, we smoke. We get in the Uber. Mind you, we see Alan Iverson on a pull-up. Yo! It was a vibe. We get out. We go into the restaurant at, um, where yeah. is it? Whatever. We yeah, got the knows. footage. We'll show y'all. But we get there and... Yeah. It was beautiful. The gender reveal was the beautiful. The gender was beautiful. The family came together. Everyone, it was just like, it was really, really nice. Tasha really had a great time. Um, congratulations again to her and her baby father. Um, you know, everyone, everything was beautiful. Like, everything was really, really nice. And we obviously didn't have the camera. And so, and I don't think we had declared that the camera was lost yet. So... It wasn't like we were in a no, weird headspace. No, 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 no. Before the gender reveal even started, before the food even came out, I asked Tasha for the car keys. We went to her car. We yeah. go to her car because I'm like, all right, it's not in the room, so maybe I left it in her car. Mm -hmm. Go to her car, and there's no camera in the car. Mind you, I'm sweating bullets because the car is parked in a parking garage. It's fucking Charlotte? the middle of summer in Charlotte. It's hot. fucking 90 something degrees outside. It was hot as hell. I'm we sweating. Had on, like, I got one a sheer shirt from Zara. Did and we even get pictures? Shorts. No, we did not get pictures guys, in that look. Um, okay, well, we're going to have to do that. We have um, to run that back. But okay. yeah, so <laughs> hot. Oh, my back. Hot. <laughs> sweating. Ouch. You okay? Yeah, my back. But I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Um, So aggravated i go back to kino i'm like yeah the camera's not in there we're like so mind boggled and so confused because we cannot figure out how we lost when we lost where we lost the camera and then the whole time um pull here whole time um i'm standing there let me get this lighter please well i'm standing there rolling because i already can tell this is about to be stressful like there was like um a 50 50 shot of the camera being in the car it, we was gonna smoke the blunt regardless to celebrate the camera being in the car. But <laughs> him coming back and it not being in the car, I'm like, all right, yeah. So I'm standing there rolling and he's walking back to me and I can already see in his face that he doesn't, he didn't find the camera. Like he doesn't look, he's not looking at me as if he's like, you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, it's whatever. So yeah. So at that point, it started to like possibly be real that we lost our camera. And mind you, we still got to be in the headspace to like celebrate. We're support. still at a, a function. We're it hasn't still even started yet. Like people are guests, still arriving, yeah. mm -hmm. and everyone's like, "Oh my god, Kina! Oh my god, Fitz!" And, and it's just like, and we're just like cameras missing, but we're like, "Hi guys!" <laughs> 
it was the craziest shit in the world. <gasps> Mind y'all, we were leaving the ah! next day, so I'm just like ready to yes. fucking go. Yes, at this we were point. already like, yeah, mm -hmm. ready to go. But the night progressed, and once we left the gender reveal brunch, we ended up going out, and we were like forcing my best friend to go out because at this point, like, bitch, I want to get drunk. I want to fuck. I I want to forget to about done. the camera. Need to not process any of this until I'm back in New York. Like, I don't even want to think about any of this until we get back to. I want to forget about it. So that's what we did. We went to um, some bar. Um, or was it a strip club? It's called Stats. Um, we my best friend's niece is a bottle girl there. Or, mm. Yeah. Um, I remember now. So yeah. So we had a little section in there, and we were just chilling, vibing. So yeah, it was cute. And then the next day, we went home. I mean, yeah, we we actually went home. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we tried to do some more searching. We, like, went to Tasha's house. Oh, yeah, we spent the next day trying to... Because our tried. flight wasn't until, like, 7, something, 8 o'clock, something like that. But... So we tried to um, find it some more, yeah. but it just was not... It happening. just did not work. And, um, again, we still have no clear recollection on the moment or the the event that could have occurred to... It. But we think we have an idea. Yeah, I think what happened was... I grabbed our camera... Um, as we were getting out the car when she dropped us off at the hotel because I almost forgot it in the car with my phone And when I turned around to go grab it I grabbed at my phone and the camera from under the seat and I closed the door And I think when we were sitting outside on the bench smoking I think I left the camera on the bench in front of the hotel And we even went to the hotel front desk. Oh my god, you guys we footage. got footage like checked It was like no like we really like okay the first time we left, we lost the camera was in Miami, and we left it in our rental. We left it in the glove compartment in our rental when we took the rental back to the airport or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And so that's how that happened, right? And then we realized it like after we were at whatever. Um, second time it happened, we left it on the train by mistake. This time, we're like, uh uh. There's a way to run this shit back. Like we need to. Some, I was like, if that motherfucker is still at this hotel, <laughs> like, what room is that bitch in? Because I'm knocking without so, the cops. Yeah, in the shower. Hmm. So <laughs> we, you know, we on the ass. We on the ass. We on the ass. We on the ass. And they calling us, and we, you know, letting us know we still checking. We waiting for this. Da, 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 but there's this. We can still check this. Da, da. Ultimately, they're like, well, from the angle that you guys were sitting and the angle of the camera that we are using for that specific, like, area, it's they can't... Spot. It's a blind spot. Bitch. And they can't see the bench. How are you telling me the front of the fucking lobby where cars drive around is a blind spot? And so that's another thing, because, like, the bench, they have, like, a seating area in the middle of the... It's like, a cul-de-sac. It literally, yeah. like, goes around. Yeah. It does. So we were sitting there and we, you know, smoked whatever. And then, yeah, so we just. Once we got the confirmation that we couldn't even see the front of the thing, yeah, we I'm just said, it's, it's cool. We said, yeah, just get us to the and airport. And mind you, the area we Get me to the airport. My, oh my God. Mind you, the area we was in, it was a lot of like homeless people, like just roaming the, the area. Because while we would be like out smoking at night, we would like see them. But like, it's such a nice area. The hotel so parking it just lot. didn't make sense. It's a very quiet area, but... But for know, me, the reason I think everything was okay... The fucking okay. Walgreens we went to was ghetto as fuck. They had oh one employee, God, bitch. And they was trying to shut that fucking Walgreens down so she could go on break. You guys. And, like, we get it. Everybody <laughs> on break. So that's how I knew. No, 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 no. no. I don't hear that. Y'all not hear me. <laughs> they, there's that is one how person I knew. working in the store, and they have to close the store for an hour a day in the middle of service, in the middle of the business day. For this person to take their break And like everybody deserves a break But are you telling me that like y'all don't have Someone else to come and work Y'all don't bitch. have more than one person Mind working We gotta go back to Charlotte for the baby shower So just keep that in mind But we gotta, we gotta, we gotta just You know be hopeful for the future mm -hmm. But anyway Jesus and we gotta make sure we got our two forms of identification For the ass too when we go When I tell you I slap the shit out of a bitch <laughs> Goodness. But yeah, y'all. So we go to we come back home from Charlotte, mm -hmm. and um, we were supposed to go to New Orleans for the Red Restaurant that following weekend. But with everything that happened, 
I promise Child, you. We just were discovering. It was no way New Orleans was seeing us. We were so heartbroken that we lost all of that footage. Because not only did we lose the camera, but we lost memory A whole cards. memory card, which had the ending of Miami. So that's why the Miami, the second video was so like all over the place. Because we didn't have the full footage for it. Then the, the, the time that we spent home for like that, those few days. Then the ATL trip. Then when we came back home, I'm literally sitting here about to cry. When we went to fucking Charlotte, I'm so upset. It was just a whole bunch of shit. Going and like on. we had our dresses picked, like we was ready. We was about to eat them up. We had to cancel orders, okay? Because shit was on the way. It just it was not happening. Like it just couldn't happen. We got home and looked at each other and said, "Absolutely, the fuck not." And I, like I don't even like cursing like that on the channel But we were that like upset Like it was just like we needed to like Take a breath He says that after he been cussing all throughout this whole conversation We've been filming for 29 minutes I don't know how many times I've cursed And you don't either So we eventually get back to New York And yeah we didn't make it to The Red Dress run but we'll be there next year So you guys definitely stay on the lookout for Kino and Fitz yes. next year and, um, and Gina was gonna pop out With us so she it was, was a whole cry. thing Like we was about to be we on was our about way to really I think eat even Jennifer was gonna come Like it was about to be a whole thing We was about to have a good time But that didn't happen And then we had plans on Going to Ohio the weekend After the Red Dress run But that got pushed back to the weekend after that Which and was great because like I was not Ready to like Child. Yeah, so for mm -hmm. those like two, three weeks, we honestly, y'all, was just in the house, like, <laughs> really trying to, like, map, wrap yeah, our minds around the fact that we lost our camera again, and... Oh, my God, just under the pillows. We lost footage, because honestly, it wasn't even the camera, because obviously the camera is easily replaceable. It's the footage, footage... The footage, we can never get those... The, Oh how bitch how and we had such a good time like i bitch, was pushing through with my how I was pushing when through. i tell y'all we have vlogs for y'all that's why before i was bragging about like oh how we got so much shit saved and ready up and just holding it for y'all so that we could just distribute it in the right way no the devil was too busy but like i say all the time everything happens for a reason whatever reason that may be maybe we needed this like time to just sit down and like really like regroup i don't fucking know but we were on a roll we were doing well everything was going but yeah that's neither here nor there ohio we went to go visit my grandfather who yes. is 90 years old oh my god you guys know seriously he's that the is cutest coolest person in no the he's world. really smooth as fuck he is just adorable when i tell you you just want to hug him every time you see him he's so cute <laughs>
was adorable. So he just recently turned 90 and um, we went to go, you know, just say hello. I haven't seen him since I was like 15, 16, something like that. So it's been a little while. Ohio is a very random place to go. Like you obviously have to know someone to go visit. And Ohio was cool. So we went there and it, it was wasn't okay. Like I'm gonna be very honest with y'all, it was okay. Um, we didn't go there under the pretenses of having fun. We went there to go visit her grandfather. And so it wasn't, it was just that. Like, it wasn't like, excuse me. We went out, um, but we tried going out. And then um, some some of us got a little too wasted. So we ended up like trying to, having to call it a night. And then, um, you know, Fitz and I tried going back out again, but that kind of went left. And so we came back home. And for the rest of the trip, we just kind of vibed. Yeah. Like, Ohio was... It wasn't, like... If his grandfather wasn't there, we We would have no have reason to ever go. To but, be completely honest. Um, but... Yeah. It was cool. Like, I loved getting to meet his grandfather. I loved getting to meet his I think, aunt. Right. I was about to say, what I loved about um, it the most was and that... And his... What's her... Well, I don't... So, my, my grandfather His grandfather's is, girlfriend. No, that's his wife. I'm sorry. His grandfather's <laughs> wife. I'm sorry. My grandfather is married to... Girlfriend is crazy. Um, not my biological grandmother, but she's been around for a very, very, very long time. So we call her Mama G. Um, and my aunt, who is, I believe, two years younger than me. Yes, you heard right. Two years younger than me. And I told you my grandfather is 90. Um, yeah, my Mama G is the same age as my mom's eldest sister. So you could just imagine the age gap. So yeah, my grandfather is a player from the Himalaya, but now he just kicked back, smooth, you know. Anyway, so cute. it was amazing to be able to have my beautiful boyfriend meet my beautiful grandfather. Yes, I love and him. just spend time with my family within itself. Kind of just been chilling. We both have had table reads with our projects that we're working on. Yeah, We both have filming days coming up. Um, yeah, I filmed this weekend actually, guys. Um, I do too on Sunday. He films on Saturday. Um, yeah. I have a show tomorrow actually. Yes, um, it is tomorrow. <laughs> which I wish I could have been able to tell you guys ahead of time, but don't worry. I have another one, um, October twentieth. Mm -hmm. um, there's someone else that reached out to for me to do another show on the ninth of this month, which is in the next couple of days. So I don't really know. I have to get more details on that. Period. Um, but yeah, things are happening. Things are still moving and grooving. We just for YouTube's sake. We had to take a little break, but life is still lifing. And we miss We are still you being keen and fits. Miss you guys so freaking we much. We love you guys so much. And we've been seeing a lot of you guys out and about as we've been oh like. Oh my God, where were we recently? The streets. Oh, we, we were at the, the Labor, Labor Day, Day parade, parade and we yesterday. saw so many phenos. You guys are like strong. Or the day before yesterday. I was surprised. I'm not really big on the Athena Day parade um, for, we, for reasons I could get into it a, little, <laughs> a later day. But. This year in particular, I had a really, really good time. It and I'm vibe. considering... We're not considering, but we spoke about definitely going back next year, so... Yeah, who knows? Maybe next year we'll be a little more festive, have some wings on or something. Who knows? Oh, my God. Walking through a crowd with wings is crazy. I could barely... I was like... <laughs> there was so much... You guys, like... It was great because of the experience and, like, the energy and the environment. But, yeah, my body was like, um, you need to sit down. <laughs> Like, I was trying to push through, but there was um, a few moments where I was, like, getting, like, where, like, the pain was getting a little crazy. But for the most part, it was really, really cool. Like, I loved being there. And, like, Fitz and I spoke about it earlier in the year. So, us being able to be here, because we did so much traveling this summer. Us being able to be here to be able to do it was cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you guys are all caught up for the most part. We really are just trying to... <sighs> figure out a rollout for you guys um as far as these videos that we've thrown in the mix of while we've been talking we've been just trying to figure out how to put it all together how to sum it all up yeah um we've been talking about doing this for the last probably about a week now we've been pushing it back day by day by day by day honestly like it's it been like two weeks has it been two weeks since we got our hair cut 
Yeah, we don't even look like we have haircuts right now. We look like cavemen. Oh, yeah. you guys, we have memberships now. We're not really sure how we're going to do it, how we're going to go oh, about it. Okay. But we do want to announce that we do have memberships where you'll be, be uh, where you'll be able to subscribe to a monthly subscription and you'll get exclusive content. We have discussed what that exclusive content will be, but we don't want to like say it just yet. But you'll be very, yeah. very excited for it. Um, and it's something to look forward to. Other than that, like, yeah, life is life. Love is and love. We're us. Rev run. <laughs> and um, yeah, just send us your love and your, you know, your support to encourage us to, you know, keep going and striving. You guys, we be ready to just like chuck this shit up to motherfucking <laughs> Scott. Because there's no way we on our fourth camera. Like, oh my God. Oh y'all. my God. Like, would you I go run and buy another I camera? Another and then, not to mention, we've neglected our solo channels, like, to the third degree. Like, I can't tell you the last time I posted a video. It's oh a my lot. God. This is too heavy. I don't like how heavy this is right it's now. It's a I don't lot. Feel that but, heavy. but I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm Lighting telling y'all. Lighting this shit up. Nah, I'm, I'm just being real, real right now. That's all. I mean, yeah, me too. I don't feel that heavy. Like, um, it's cool. Uh, just to start posting and you know get my content but yeah this, easy fix this is the video to say officially we're 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 back and <laughs> because we say that like every other video and then ah! go missing for another like 17 20 days you guys love us and we love you so, and this is a journey and we're figuring sorry it out sorry to have been gone for damn near three weeks yeah but um this is what has happened over the course of time we wish that we could have shown you guys the footage of like what our life has been like over the summer because life has been truly amazing this summer like the traveling the the fun the joys the laughs the good times you know all of that wow yeah, this car is dangerously lot. backing up <laughs> excuse me you can see that yeah oh, i see that. it's a white truck yeah mm -hmm. And but, you got oh sorry no you're fine guys you guys today's the first time I've driven a car in like a month Six has like been really adamant on me not stressing my knee and he's just been like not letting me drive and like obviously my doctors like you know agree but I feel like I should try to drive until like I can't like anymore like officially can't like I know. I know what I'm doing right now is not a good idea because, like, later on I'm going to be all stiffed up and stuff. But I just wanted to try a little bit today, guys. Damn. Anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> As he says, he don't want to get heavy. I want to drive! We're yeah, about to we don't go home obviously now. have anything much else to tell you guys in the moment. So now this the purpose of this we're, right here was to just catch you up. Yeah, I'm about to say we're done catching you guys up and um we'll start a new vlog at some point in time. Um probably, probably tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like some point in time sounds so big. We're gonna start a new vlog tomorrow. Yeah, definitely tomorrow. And jump into it. Um especially tomorrow being the day of my performance and we have oh, to yeah, bring Kino's timing. mom to the airport in the morning. Yeah. Um so yeah we have a pretty productive day. It's gonna start early. Yeah my mom has so. a freaking eight AM flight so she has to be at the <laughs> My mom wants to be at the airport at freaking five. But that's just... You know how parents are. They're like... No. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to go back home today, being Wednesday, the 4th of September. I'm going to try to go back home and edit all this stuff oh, for you guys. Okay. Yeah. And... Yeah. I'm going to try to get it out tonight. Like, whatever okay. time I'm done, I'm going to just post it. So that way, when you guys wake up, Voila. Or up while it's out or when it goes live then you can really be like in time with us you know what i mean yes. up to date in time with us i don't know if that makes sense when I in said real time it. when in you post it time. they can like watch That's i just I want you to say. not talk to them as if they don't understand no because i like, wasn't these are saying, very smart people that i wasn't watch saying it properly so that's why i was saying i hope you can understand it wasn't nothing about them and how they could okay i just needed to check the temperature boy bye Check these nuts. You need anyway, that, I can before give you that. he make me cuss him the hell out in you front of that? all these people, you need that. Do you need that? You need that. 
<laughs> I ain't gonna tell you what the fuck you look like. <laughs> Hey, Anita. When is Kino is good? I don't know what that is. Can you say that? Yeah, boy, way? bye. They, the smart people know what it is. You the dumb one. They they caught the vibes. <sighs> oh, yeah. Send help. S O S O. How you do it? Y'all see what I have to do? <laughs> this is why we need to get a camera back because this is just for me <laughs> dealing with it. S O S. Bye no, but we did. We miss you guys a lot. Love you guys, and we'll see you later. Man.